I'm Megan. Welcome to Zong's Halloween mini series, Megan's Monsters. Today I'm gonna turn myself into Pennywise. What a nice pony. Terrified of clowns, but let's do some immersion therapy and talk about the movie a little bit. Let's all float and let's turn into Pennywise. <laughs> Do you want a balloon too, Georgie? I'm not supposed to take stuff from strangers. Oh, well, I'm Pennywise the dancing clown. Now we aren't strangers, are we? Ah, Georgie, so tragically adorable. While I so coolly transform myself into my interpretation of this dancing clown nightmare, I want to take some time to talk about this brilliant story. Before it was a 2017 hit starring our favorite Stranger Things dude Finn and a surprisingly attractive clown Bill Skarsgård, it was a miniseries starring Tim Curry, but more importantly, an epic novel from the mind of Stephen King in 1986. It's a story about fear, inspired into Stephen King's mind by remembering the old tale three billy goats gruff, but instead of a troll under a bridge, this monster is a shape-shifting entity that typically appears as a clown that feeds on children. Considering that this film centers around the tragic murder of the actual cutest little boy in a yellow rain jacket, Georgie, this was my favorite theater experience all year. While an incredibly scary and disturbing horror film, this movie is also a sweet and inspiring coming-of-age dramedy. It follows the deceased Georgie's older brother Bill and his six friends, collectively known as the Losers Club, as they try and find Georgie, who Bill believes is still alive. Along the way, each of them are individually confronted with it, as a clown, as a scary painting that came to life, a walking disease, an abusive father, etc. But when the group figures out what this monster is up to, they band together to fight it as one unit. Like many kids, I spent a lot of time being afraid of everything. I was afraid of the dark, the devil. I even thought demons could rise out of red Kool-Aid stains on the carpet, or that a dream catcher I made at school could invite evil into my room. I prayed myself to sleep to keep the fear at a distance. I hid my eyes from the Tim Curry version of it in movies stores because I was afraid that scary clown on the cover would come and haunt my dreams. Desperately trying to hide myself from fear in every way possible, in turn, created more paranoia in my brain. Just like the kids in It had to face Pennywise with bravery, love, and mutual trust in each other, I had to step up to my own personal anxieties and find the strength I never exercised when I was younger, the strength to laugh and find a thrill in the scary things. The 2017 adaptation of It centers around the characters when they're kids, when their fears are easily manifested physically by Pennywise. But when Penny returns 27 years later in chapter two of this new It series, it's gonna center around some much darker adult fears. So this Halloween, if you're inspired to truly overcome fear, go head first into it by becoming everyone else's fear. Throw on a bald cap, cut up a red wig, and paint on a scary grin to go after those Georgies, and maybe accidentally, those sweet helpless Coralines too. You'll have an eventful night, and hey, maybe you won't be scared of clowns at the end of it, because you yourself are the scariest creature in the night tonight. It's Penny was the dancing clown. It's Penny was the dancing clown. Notorious for eating kids, especially ones in yellow jackets. Are you scared? Penny was a get you now. Run, little kid, run. Pennywise the dancing clowns of town. <laughs> Thanks for floating with us today. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. What are you afraid of? Subscribe to Snarled and check out our other videos. You'll float too. <laughs>